Hey guys, I know it's been a minute, so please forgive me. I'm prepping my skin using the Belief Peat Miracle line. That includes a serum, a moisturizer, and an eye cream. It's super, super hydrating and helps if your skin is really dry. Now time to cover up my eyebrows. Eek. So I haven't used the glue stick method in a long time, and I mean like years, but I thought I'd give it a go and I didn't do anything too different than what everyone else does. So if you want a really in-depth tutorial, there's other ones out there. I just use a little wet wipe to smooth out the edges. I also wet it further with some water to help smooth everything down. Although side note, I didn't use Elmer's brand and that's where I think I messed up royally because this off-brand stuff, was not good. It ended up like peeling up. It didn't hold well under the makeup. So since filming this video, I've gotten the Elmer's purple glue stick and I want to try that out before ditching the whole glue stick method altogether and going back to Prosade. For my base, I'm using the Makeup Forever Color White. I typically use water-based colors when I do a white face, but I wanted to try this product out and I actually really, really liked it. I also used their white color stick to try to make certain areas more white but the texture of the color stick is really slippery so it didn't make these areas as opaque and white as I wanted it to. I really tried to pack on that white to cover my brows. I made the mistake of not color correcting them before I went in with a white and I just set everything using some translucent powder. Make sure it's all really well set when you're using a cream base but ugh, it's a lot of powder. <laughs> So the reason I did this look was to test out the Creepy Cute palette from Strobe Cosmetics and I am in love with this palette. I use this palette for literally everything in this look. Contour, blush, eyes. As you can see, I used a sheet of paper to help cut my cheekbones. And yes, this was inspired by Trixie Mattel's makeup technique. Remember what I said about not color correcting? Yeah, so I ended up using some water-based white paint to try to cover my brows a little bit more. Then moving on to cheeks, I used the pink and the orange from the palette. I switched over to a really fluffy brush to get a really faded out effect with the blush. I also took it on a smaller eye brush to contour my nose and make it look cute and kind of like a button nose. I also brought the blush onto the bridge of the nose to give it a sort of sun-kissed look, if that's even possible on a white base. When you have a white base, contouring with gray will be your best bet. I carved myself an entire new nose shape for this. You can see I'm going smaller and smaller. Oh, and can we please talk about this Ico 3-in-1 eye brush? It is amazing. This specific brush was essential when creating this new nose. It's got the flat slanted edge, which I use to trace the nose, and then it's got a pencil brush end that I use to blend everything out. I typically don't like brushes that are several brushes in one. They can fall apart while you're using them, but this one is amazing. I definitely recommend it. Next, I use the Luxe basic eye brushes and this kit has a really good variety it's got pretty much everything you need really to create an eye look this was kind of a first impressions video but in my own weird draggy way so again following Trixie Mattel's tips I used saline solution mixed with sugar pills bulletproof to create the eyeliner it creates a super black liner you don't have to waste a ton of liquid liner I really like this trick and we'll be using it again but I have tried it with other black eyeshadows and it doesn't work as well because of the formulations of the eyeshadows I tried it with void from the creepy cute palette and it did not work the same bulletproof kind of creates a paste when you mix it with a saline solution and that's what allows you to use it as a liner. This look was meant to look like a mask so I'm just cleaning around the edges and concealing any spots that need concealing and making the edge sharper in general. So I did this before finishing my liner because I wanted it to pass the limit of the white base. So to create more depth in my new eye socket I went in with the gray again, tombstone I believe. And I also used it to map out the new eyebrows. I started with a very light hand using very little product and then just intensified the color as I got the shape that I wanted. Yep. 
Using the NYX Epic Ink Liner, I went in and drew little hairs or little hair strokes on my new eyebrows. I typically don't do this. Um, I was just trying out new techniques and new things. Thought it could be cool. Um, don't hate the way it turned out, but also don't love it. So yeah. And then always deepening that socket. I went in with blue to try to give it a little bit of variety and to help blend that out, I went in with sugar pill taco, which is a pure white. So for this look, you'll see me jumping around each part of the face, always like going back to the eyes and then doing something somewhere else and then jumping back to the eyes. And I kind of work like that in general. I just do things as I think they need to be done. I don't really know how to explain it. <laughs> now moving on to lips. I know I wanted to do something diffused just because I've been really into that lately. So I went in with some eyeshadow first instead of trying to diffuse the actual lipstick. I also brought the pink under the nose for a cute little effect. And then back to the eyes, now with the bottom lashes. You'll see here that I tried to use the pink for the bottom lash line, but I didn't really like it, so I went in with the same colors that I used on top. I also went in with the green on the new lid, just to give it a pop of color and on the bottom lash line as well. And again, using the pure white to help blend that out and the black and gray to deepen that. Now with the Suva Beauty Hydra Liner in Space Panda, I filled in the gap between my actual bottom lash and the new ones I've created. I applied the product and then cleaned off the excess and used that now somewhat clean brush to blend out the edge. Then Jumbo Pencil in Milk just to hit that waterline and setting everything with Sugar Pills Taco. Even though the Hydra Liner is water activated, it's still a little bit tacky to the touch, so I set it with the eyeshadow just to be on the safe side. Next, using some Strobe Cosmetics glitter because I knew I wanted to use some of this beautiful, beautiful glitter. I wanted to incorporate it somehow, so I just added a little touch to my bottom lash line. Next for the lips, I'm using a liquid lipstick and I'm trying to get that lip shape as sharp as I can, so I'm going in with a lip brush to define it even more. And I wanted to give the impression of super full lips, so I went in with a lighter color and this was Sugar Pills Kimchi, and I just kind of blended those two colors together, concentrated kimchi in the middle. Now for my little mouth dots, I used the back end of a brush, and I just dipped it into the lipstick and stamped it onto my face. Then gave myself some freckles using a liquid liner and a lot of patience. <laughs> So a lot of people ask me why I do so many freckled looks, and first of all, I think they're cute, but I'm also not gonna lie, I use them to cover up my acne. So if you ever have any breakouts that you're having trouble concealing, just put some freckles on them. Back with the Epic Ink Liner, I'm just using that to define the bottom lash line and make it really sharp and really dark and I'm blending that out a little bit as well. Then I'm sticking on some bottom lashes and I like to stick on the bottom ones first because once I have the top ones on, I can't see that well. They cover up my line of sight a little bit. I also use the liquid liner to define that inner corner and extend it inwards a little bit. I also used it to cover up some of the glue that was still showing up from the bottom lash. For my top lash, I combined three lashes. I used two sugar pill lashes, Baby Dewdrop and Plush, and I also used a Wet n Wild lash from their Halloween collection, which I unfortunately don't know the name of. As a final touch, I fixed the edges a little bit more with some concealer, and now I am almost done. Put on my wig, and I thought that my lips weren't diffused enough. I thought that they lost some of that after I applied the lipstick, so I just Diffuse them a tiny bit more. And I also wanted to make them shiny without being glossy. So I got some Sugar Pill Ghosted Pigment and just patted it on with my finger. And that's it. I've really been into drag makeup lately, so you might be seeing a lot more of it on my channel. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!